Welcome to Amp Test Tuesday. So here's the deal with today's Amp Test Tuesday. This amplifier has six, or I guess I should say three pairs of one-aught inputs that'll probably hold two-aught, no problem. And I've only got one run of one-aught going down to three 16-volt batteries. In real life, you'd probably want at least three, four, maybe five of those batteries and a big alternator to keep this thing running. What I really got is three batteries on a 10 amp or 15 amp charger and it's just barely keeping it going. So what I'm gonna do for this amp test Tuesday is I'm gonna do dynamic runs and show you what this thing's capable of on music. And once I have everything in the car with all the batteries and everything powered up right, cause it's never, it's almost never gonna be the amplifier's fault if it doesn't make its number. We're talking about you gotta do, You've got to supply the amp with the power to make the power. So if a well-known amp that is known for putting out rated power doesn't put out its rated power, you might want to look at the electrical. And right now, my electrical is kind of weak. So this test bench was never made to do a 10,000 watt amplifier. It was made to do a 1,000 watt amplifier. And those 16 volt batteries are going in that car along with seven more. So eventually I'll have more power but at this time, I can only supply it with what I've got. But everybody wants to see Amp Test Tuesday. They want to see the DC Audio 9.0K. You've seen me do other DC Audio amps and they've made their mark no problem. So I don't want this amp to suffer because I can't supply it with the right amount of power. So a dynamic run is in order. It'll be less stressful. Certified run is gonna suck the life out of those batteries within a matter of seconds. So we'll do dynamic. We'll see how it does. And when it's in the car, we'll do it again. Certified, brought down to 15 volts, still 8,102 watts. Certified, not bad. As you can see, those 16 volt batteries that were charged up past 17 got taken down to 14. So really, 
This thing's sucking the life out of them, but that's a damn good run. I could just keep that up to 18 volts and do a little bit more. Tested both the amps. They both had pretty much the same amount of output. And I guess the bottom line is it takes power to make power. And don't expect 9 or 10,000 watts out of an amp like this if you can't supply it with the power to make that power. I'm planning on having at least 10 16 volt batteries in the back whenever this system's ready to go. And of course, 16 volt alternator charging at around 18 volts.